Welcome back YouTube, Christian here. Today I'm doing a review on these two, or my most recent scratch build saber, the Vol model. It's, I'm going to go through a little rundown of all the parts that I used on it, and then um, pretty much turn them on. Far away. So these are stunt sabers that I built out of uh, six, or um, 6061 aluminum that I ordered from online metals. The measurements were one and a quarter outer diameter, one inch inner diameter for a, I believe it was an eighth of an inch wall. And it, overall, the hill is really compact, really slim. It has a really nice feel to it. Um, I ordered two random cut lengths, so that I got two 11 inch lengths of the stock. The, um, the blade socket is a little too small when I ordered it, so I had to do some dremeling, sanding, grinding to hollow it out a little bit. But now blades fit in it, not exactly perfectly, but they'll, they'll go down in there with a little bit of twisting. Um, just a 12 millimeter AV switch with a uh, switch converter from TCSS inside the pommels. This uh, this pommel was originally the last thing I needed for the hilt, but I didn't know what I was going to do with it. But it's just a vinyl cap, and it's actually on there very, very snug. It doesn't come off easily, and also serves as a good grip, too for the bottom. So this is the most recent one that I made. Um, this one, these are going to be for sale. I'm selling these ones for 90 but I'm going to just be doing that locally. And then if anyone else wants them, I'll post more in the future. And I'm only going to sell them as I make them. I'm not going to be taking orders for them. So this is the first one that I made. The one that I'm going to be keeping. Uh, same specs. There's a retention screw for the blade. There's a retention blade under this heat shrink, as you can see here. That holds the LED module. The switch on this one. Uh, another section of heat shrink. And then down here, did some etching. Uh, that says Vol in Sith Prophecy. If you can't see. And then, right there in English. And then the pommel. I'll open this one up just to show my setup. That uh, this one over here has a battery holder. Everything's all uh, JST together. So I just have a little bit ins insulation foam, just to pad that. And there's a the battery, 18650 JST, that goes to the, the switch converter. So the whole thing is pretty modular, it comes, comes apart really easily if you want to switch out parts and stuff. There's really no soldering required unless something breaks from one of the components. But yeah, those go on pretty easy. I haven't had this slip. As long as you're holding your saber right. It, the only um, issue I've been having is accidentally trigger triggering the switch. Sometimes I'll hold it and my hand will catch right there. And I'll turn off. Uh, aside from that, it's a, it's a really good entry, entry level hilt. Nice and slim, not too big. A good 11 inch length. And that, well, the blade socket depth is about 1 inch. So the blades go in there pretty well. And on this one I have a deep red. Deep red, a little blade stop. And this one is a XPE2, just 
normal red. Uh, that one I still need to get a battery for it. And um, this one will come with the charger and the blade, of course, when I sell it. So that pretty much wraps up this review. Um, I'll, I'll, I think I'll put a little parts list in the description of the video so you can kind of see how to build this thing. It's pretty simple. So, uh, until next time, may the force be with you.